Welcome to the Cassie Cafe. I don't know why I have such a hard time looking at the camera. Every time I start, I'm looking over at the screen. I think it's just because I'm so excited about this camera. So I'm doing some autofocus testing today. And um, right now I'm going to just show you some different things that are in the Cassie Cafe. And um, it's on face detection, so it's focused on me. I'm hopeful that if I put something in front of my face, it'll focus on that thing. So we're gonna give it a go. This is a cow that we got years ago. Um, gosh, I can't even remember where we got it, but it is um, an ice cream cow and it has lots of little kids on the top enjoying ice cream. So that's very cute. And it's really cobwebby because it's been in an out of the way place for a long time and we just brought it out. And this little guy is a puka named Harvey. Harvey, say hello. He lives here and he really enjoys the Cassie Cafe. Ever since we got these beautiful booths, the cats really enjoy being in here. Usually there will be two or three, all three of them hanging out in here. And um, they're not right now, but that's okay because they probably will be later. I'm just doing some moving around fairly extreme moving around to see how the camera is able to adapt to me moving around. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to do some different tests, walking around and showing you things and uh, we'll see how the autofocus test goes. All right, so I am hand holding the camera about four inches from my face. And since I found out where the cats are, I thought I would show you one over here named Hamilton. And one over here named Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Now I'm very backlit, but over here I found Matilda. So now I'm starting at the front of the house and I'm gonna go outside take you with me and you can see the transition to the bright sunlight and actually how quickly the camera adjusts to that bright sunlight and I am walking around with the camera on a gorilla pod which helps me keep it steady I think the camera adjusted to the light quicker than my eyes did which are still uh, a little bit squinty as a result I'm trying to hold the camera steady I just don't do this very much so I mean with the uh, gorilla pod and holding it in true vlogging style. So I want to show you my fence that I just recently had completely rebuilt um, and painted red, which looks really good with the red front door. There are people outside, so I'm going to take you back in the house or actually to the backyard. But first I'll show you this sundial that I really love. All right. This is one of my favorite acquisitions that we've had in many years. It is my first rose bush. And I think it has absolutely the most beautiful rose that I've ever seen. It's very windy outside, so sorry if it's hard to really um, 
see it well, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And it goes great with this hibiscus that we got too, which I'm gonna show you over here. It's very, very orange. Need to get into a better spot. And then recently we also got this um, Fuji apple tree, which is a dwarf tree, a dwarf apple. So it won't get quite as big as a normal apple would and probably will work real well in our backyard. So um, over here we have all of my many, many plants, which I enjoy taking care of. Some of them are used for making food, like the West Indian bay leaf, which I think has the best bay flavor, um, which I have two of, or my curry leaves, which are great for that, or my um, mint and cilantro and other kind of mint. I have two kinds of mint. And I have a bunch of tomatoes that I need to plant in the front, which I will do soon. Okay, we'll see how this test goes for um, having handheld the camera. It's really not too bad for walking around with, um, as long as I haven't been doing a whole lot of other strenuous stuff beforehand. Oh, here's something else that's really beautiful that we got recently, which is a tree style lantana that has the best coloring, these like yellow and red flowers. Of course, butterflies and bees really like them. Okay, thanks, and I'm signing off. Today is April the 8th and it's Saturday, and it's been a really great day so far. The last two weeks have been really nuts because of all the different things that we've had going on, planned and unplanned, unplanned, includes my um, getting my new stove, which I did not expect to need to do, um, but that's worked out really well for making bread. Um, also, my garage door had to be replaced recently, and uh, that was just a shocker, but because it's very expensive to have garage doors replaced, basically all the parts had to be replaced except for the doors themselves. We had the fence redone, as I showed you, and we also had this created, which is our new backdrop for photography. So this backdrop is like eight feet high, and uh, it's perfect for photos, and we can paint it any way we want. We can hang things on it, and it kind of doubles as a privacy fence, even though because it's facing in instead of facing out like most of these do. Um, it is perfect for photography and that's its purpose and we love it and i think i'm done talking now so see you guys later bye